Real quick before we get started, we have big news. We're going to Sweden. We're going to be in Malmo, Sweden for Tier 1 Con. July 1st through the 3rd, thanks to our sponsors, Dragon Shield, we will be there playing Magic with everyone all weekend long. So if you're in the area of Sweden, come hang out. We're going to be with the nitpicky nerds, Jumbo Commander, and Quest for the Jank Lord too. Okay, let's get the game started. <laughs> Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week, we're here for game two of best commanders from Commander Legends Boulder Gate. Is it, what is this? That's the name right for real? Um, Adventures of Boulder Adventures, Gate. Travels of Boulder Gate. Mysteries of Boulder Gate. Pathway of Boulder Gate. The Way to Boulder Gate. Boulders of Boulder Gate. Over the river and through the woods to Boulder's Gate we go. So first up, we have Cam on three for one Zevlor. I'm playing Agent Razeb Delcat. Tyler's playing Galeful Tricks, and Nate's on Ragga Dragga Dork Stompy. Cam's going first. Any pregames? I have a pregame. A gemstone caverns may have a luck counter. Absolutely. Wow. I'm going to pitch this swamp. Draw for my turn. Now let's go Mox Diamond pitching this Exotic Orchard, Mana Crypt, Spire of Industry as land for turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ragavan. I'm going to mental misstep your Ragavan for Ooh, two life. Ragavan is mental misstep. You can pay for it. I could. Pass the turn. By the way, here's how you fix that problem next time. Uh, run out the Ragavan before the Mana Crypt and the land. You think because it makes the Ragavan more intimidating? Hands down. I don't think this would have been the mental misstep target if it wasn't for me presenting such a fast start. Draw card. Godless Shrine, two life, cast Viscerous Seer, right. pass turn. In your end step, I'm gonna pay one and cast a Consider. Draw that card, untap, draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Water Graved untapped, losing two life, and I'm gonna immediately use it to cast a Mystic Remora. Pass the turn. Command Tower for land for turn. Bird's Paradise, that is all I will do. On my upkeep, Mana Crypt Trigger. Play to win. Get a draw. Ottawara, Soaring City. Lose a life to make a black. Cast my commander. Zevlor. El Toro Exile. Pass turn. Untap. Uh, upkeep. Draw card. Forbidden Orchard. Cameron, I'll give you a 1 1. Cast Dark Confidant. Go to combat. Tyler, I'll attack you for one. Take one. Pass turn. Untapped. I will pay for fish. May I borrow that? Draw for turn. Play a Snook Rhode Island. Cast Scion of Halister. So currently does nothing because I don't have a commander creature. Pass you. Draw. I will play Skull and Hall for my land for turn. Cast Priest of Titania. Pass turn. And a Crypt Trigger. Play to win. Get a draw. Tyler, hit you for one. Take one. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Dark Confidant trigger. Take two off of a Grim Monolith. Draw for turn. Go to combat. Tyler, I guess it's still you. I'll come at you for three. Taking three. I'll give Tyler the one one this time, and I'll cast Grim Monolith. Thank you. Get the Mr. Grimoire draw? Yeah. Draw. That's it. Pass turn. Untap. I'm going to let the fish die. I'm going to pay three, cast my commander, and pass the turn. Yeah. End of your turn. I'll fetch. And I'll come untapped. Untap. Heap. I will draw. Play Besage you. Cast Mox Diamond. Discarding a forest. Cast Ragged Dragon. Three at Dylan and two at Cameron. These will untap. Pass turn. At the end of your turn, I'm going to activate Zelvor and I'm going to cast a peak, targeting nice. everyone, and I'll draw three. <laughs> nice. nice. Uh, oh boy. I'm like kind of what ashamed. Do you have? What did you do putting powerful cards in everyone's deck? <laughs> draw three. Go to my turn on my upkeep. Get a lose. Play to lose. Draw for my turn. Let's play Mana Confluence as my land for turn. Let's cast a Talisman of Dominance. Pass the turn after that. Untap. Upkeep. Dark Confidant trigger. Take nothing off of a Prismatic Vista and draw for turn. Play an Exotic Orchard. Let's give Tyler another 1-1 one -one with Forbidden Orchard. Cast Esper Sentinel. Cast my commander. Abdel. Adrian Gorion's Ward. When it ETBs, I'll take Grim Monolith and make a one, one It doesn't do nothing. One of the fun little things with Abdel is you can get rid of Grim Monolith, which can't untap anyway. And once I can sacrifice the Abdel, which I would like to do anyway, because for my combo, my commander needs to be in my graveyard, my Grim Monolith will come back untapped. So a little bit extra value there. Pass turn. <laughs> untap. Draw for turn, but Sion of Halister will make it a look at top two. I'm going to put a reanimate in my graveyard. I do want to note here how much much it sucks for the backgrounds that you have to have a commander in play in order for the ability to go off. Tyler put a two mana investment into play two turns ago for it to finally do something now. And even now it doesn't actually even create card advantage. It just gives you a little bit more card selection, but it, it does put Gale in Demir, which is which is good in its own. Cast Unmarked Grave. Use Gale's ability to then pay one and also cast Consider from Graveyard. As per Sentinel Trigger on the Unmarked Grave. You may draw. Consider resolves. Look, I'm going to bin this preordained draw. 
And then unmarked grief, good to resolve. I am gonna put massacre in my graveyard. Nate, I am then passing to you. On your end step, activate Zevlor. And then I will also cast Lightning Bolt, paying for Esper Sentinel, to target Vizier Seer, your commander, uh, Gale, and then the Priest of Titania. I'll respond. Um, okay. I'll sacrifice Abdel to Vizier Seer. And Grimonolith comes back and I'll scry. I'll leave it right there. I'm good. Great. Okay. Um, good? I'm going to respond. Oh, this feels really cool. Assuming I'm doing this right. I'm going to cast Submerge. Since you control a forest and I control an island, I can do it for free. I'm going to target Gale with the Submerge to put it on top of my library. Gale's ability is going to let me cast something. I'm going to cast this Massacre from my graveyard since you control the planes and I control the swamp. Wow. So I'll cast that for free as well. Uh, I'm into giving everything minus two, minus two. Yeah. It doesn't I, really hurt I, Nate I now either. wish that I hit Nate's commander Regular. with the Lightning Bolt instead. Uh, I'm going to change my Scry. Why? I'm going to sacrifice... This token to scry, I'm gonna change my mind and put that at the bottom now. I'll sacrifice Esper Sentinel to scry again. I'll put that at the bottom. Sack Dark Confident to scry again. And Sack Vistra Seer to itself to scry again. That can go at the bottom too. Massacre? Massacre, everything gets minus two, minus two. Then Submerge resolves, this goes on top. Massacre is exiled. And then Priest of Titania will die. Draw for turn, Carpet Flowers. Go to combat. Four at Cam, two at Tyler. Take four. Take two. Birds untap. Go to second main, I will target Tyler with Carpet flowers, we'll add green, cast okay, shared summons. I will get a endurance and I will get a hellkite charger. Pass the turn. The sorcery speed shared summons here actually gives me a lot of information. At least I have time to recast my commander, maybe get myself set up a little bit more and we'll see what happens. Go to my turn on my upkeep, play to lose, cast Zevlor again. Go to combat, Dylan hit you for four. Pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw card. Cast both the Citadel. I have to give someone a 1-1. One, one. I'll give it to you. Okay. Fierce Guardianship. Shit. It's countered. I spent six mana to have <laughs> Fierce Guardianship up. <laughs> play Prismatic Vista and pass my turn. And I will draw this mystery card for turn, and then I will play said mystery card and very swiftly pass the turn. Untap. I will draw. Target Tyler with two green. Cast Circle of Dreams Druid. Go to combat. Four at Dylan. Two at Cameron. My Bird of Paradise will untap. Take two. Take four. That is all I will do. I will pass the turn. At your end step, I will tap one, lose a life, four, and two. It's so funny to me that we're all doing the same thing, and Nate is just visibly attacking us all down and like holding the endurance over all of our heads. Yeah. <laughs> LED in my grave. It's pretty great. I have a quick question that's very, that's just going to make a couple things obvious. Does Jessica's will work with my commander the way that I hope it does? Yeah, I think sure so. does. Okay. Yeah. Because it has, yep. a, it has a target, so we'll go yep. to my turn. And it's a single target. That's the important part, because that's the word that's yes. actually left out of that card, but it does have a single target. Mm -hmm. I think the word that's missing is actually exactly. Play to win. No life lost there. Wow. To draw, activate my commander, Jessica's will. Targeting Dylan. Targeting everybody. But if Dylan concedes right now, he does not get it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so this trigger, so I make a copy for everybody then? Mm -hmm. me. Three first. One, two, three. Second. One, two, three. And then the original. One, two. Two, three. You have another way to make a black? Yeah, I do. Dockside extortion. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Dude, uh, I think look we're at dead. that. I think we're super dead. I think we might be dead. Uh, I think um, we're dead. Badlands as land for turn. Pass Dockside Extortionist. So that make four treasures. Black, black, black. What the hell? Past peer into the abyss. Pass priority. Pass priority. Pass priority. Okay. So you lose 11 life. Draw 37 cards. Black mana for a dark ritual. Three black. I have threshold. Use two of the black. Cast a cabal ritual. Make five black. Go up to six black. Cast a chrome mox. Exiling this bribery. Damn, man. Demonic tutor. Cast underworld breach. Obviously, I have something in my hand that makes me not care about this endurance at some point. <laughs> endurance. Pact of negation. It. Pact of negation happens. Don't forget about your trigger. I can't believe you had counter Thank magic. You. <laughs> <laughs> Underworld Breach resolves. I should have played around counter. It might have been good to do it in response to the peer. Pay a black mana, cast in two, exiling one, two, three cards from my graveyard. On nature's claim, the Underworld Breach. The spell targeting nature's yeah. claim. Let's put Thassa's Oracle in my graveyard. Snap this Dockside back to my hand. Untap two lands. Dockside again. Make mm -hmm. four more. Crack ones. a treasure for Mr. Mystical Tutor, get Consultation. Consultation is on top. We'll crack a treasure for blue, casting Gip Probe, targeting Tyler, draw a card. Don't you want to see my hand? No, I don't. Ah. Cast a Reanimate, targeting Thassa's Oracle. Mm -hmm. That will come in, lose two. Trigger on the stack, I'd like to hold priority and use yet another black to cast a Demonic Consultation. Pass. 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 
I will name Tarmogoyf. Everything goes in to exile. That's Oracle Trigger. That's the Oracle Trigger. Good. Dead. You got it. Great. I didn't actually think that Zevlor was going to take me there all the way, but, you know, being able to look at nine cards in a really solid Grixis shell like that basically can guarantee you the game when you're also able to make a double-digit amount of mana at the same time. Yeah, Jessica's Will is a very powerful card, especially when you can break it and cast three copies of it, and then obviously Peer into the Abyss is also very strong. I think this is a great Grixis win. Most of these things probably could have been done in any Grixis shell, but Zevlor giving you three Jessica's Will is obviously pretty good. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so at Patreon like our $50 patrons. That green guy, Plantain Jackson, Jackoff McGiff, Isaiah Berliski, Michael Lyon, Kyle Levenberg, George Allen, Byron Wang, C, Kawaja Ahamid, Jacob Depp, Reese Uker, Unforeseen God, CZ, Michael Ballou, Jan Wildfang, Adrian Grimm, Sleepy Jarvis, Swampy McGee, Peter Larson, Nocturnal Beaver, Jormax, Ugly Moxfield, and Baby Jeebus. Thanks, y'all. Check out our bonfire store for our t-shirts, sweatshirts, and all of our other Play-to-Win merch, too. If you want to check out any of the cards you saw today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link down below. Check out our Alter Sleeves affiliate link for 5% off your order. If you want to pick up any Dragon Shield product, you can also do that at the affiliate link, which will help support the channel. And PlayToWinMTG.com has our playmats and coins available. By the way, the coins say play to lose on the back which is really funny so you can check that out too thanks for watching see you next week battle for Baldur's Gate battle for Baldur's Gate we were way off way off I could have sworn it was some kind of journey <laughs> <laughs> I think there there might have been lines that you could have done that were a little bit like quicker because you mystical tutored and then get tax and pro but I think you still had demonic tutor in your graveyard